You may notice at the start of each event, we take everybody across the start finish line. That's to test the transponder system of each car, make sure it's working, functioning. If we've got any problems, like know ahead of time, get them fixed if we can. Again, the Thunder Car Division, based upon the classic jalopies that we've known here for the last, oh, about 40, 50 years now. That's the big wheelbase, full-framed cars. In this case, run the tra automatic transmissions, and uh, usually with a stock steel body, but we've, uh, you notice for a couple of these cars, due to the fact it's hard to get those bodies, we've allowed them to modify that uh, rule a little bit. Starting on the pole of this one. Thunder car feature, 30 laps. Again, pit stops will be allowed. Pit stops will be allowed. Starting on the pole, number 274 machine. Your fast qualifier, Nate Canner, to 27, <laughs> took time of 22.052. Nate Canner, 274 on the pole alongside your current champion contenders. In fact, they're on the front row there. EJ Neat, number 28. Then row two is going to be number 30 of Aaron Smay, along with Andy Shirley in the 44. Row three, Steve Vickers in the 20 with the 49 of Justin Dibburn. Row four. After that, you're going to have the uh, number 128 of Noah Neat, along with the number five of Tristan Riddle. Then the Dale Harper, number 36, the number two of Jeff Swinford, Henry McDougal in the 27, the nine of B.J. McClellan, the 09 of Tim Spurgeon, and the 39 of Richard Burton. Looks like the 27 McDougal is opting for the tail. So the bomber cars lining it up and getting her done. Umbrella's back up because Mother Nature has really been a pain in our you-know-where here tonight. Go get the one, the one this next time by again, trying to keep what we got preserved there on the asphalt. Through the north end. Guys to watch out here, definitely the Swinford number two. I don't care what you say, not pretty, but he knows his eight. Andy Shirley in the 44 on Redemption City out here for the 44 of Andy Shirley. Trying to make up for a tough, tough season here in which the Grim Ones have not only been on his back, but they invited their whole family to move in with him. But front row, I tell you what, two fast cars, the fastest cars we've seen in the Thunder Car Division this year, the 28 of EJ Neat, all ready for the championship, and the 274 of Nate Canner, who may be on the route to his next championship. Thirty laps, thirty laps, thirty laps on the eight. Sixty times through the crossover. One hundred and twenty times for each turn. And twice in line at the beer. Southbound they go. They get the green. It's gonna be a slick, wet track. These guys who sat there and shaved their tires and soaked them good, they're gonna be regretting this one. The fell with the uh, stock. Oh, already Dibbers number forty-nine. The five a riddle overcooks it there through the turn. Going slideway. Check out the one fellow who may get the nod on this one is a fellow with all more dirt track experience than anybody, and that's with the 44 of Shirley. Shirley's already got a championship or two under his belt on the dirt, driving uh, the modified classes of all things, what they call the modified lights or minis, and uh, definitely knows how to work a dirt track, work a slick track, work a tough track. He's going to tiptoe his way on through to get her done there. Three wide, here it comes. Shirley up to the lead there, the 44 machine. They go northbound once again. Oh, but he goes too hard and into the concrete. That allows the 274 of Canner to go up underneath, along with the neatness counts there, number 28 of EJ Neat. So Shirley back to third. He took the lead and went back to third just that quick there. As we stick with the green here, Lee Cowers, Dale Harper going to the 36 machine as the bomb, Dale Harper there, cutting all the way through the crossover. Already traffic getting lap. McDougal has checkup time in the 27 ride. And it's going to be 274 of Nate Canner up in front. Second place is going to be held by the number 28 machine of EJ Neat. Third place is still Andy Shirley, who shows him he knows how to drive it. He just knows how to drove or drive it, too. <laughs> then you've got to have fourth place going to Aaron Smays, number 30, losing that spot now. The 20 machine of Steve Vickers. Followed by the 128 of Noah Neat, 36 of Dale Harper, the two of Swinford. 
274. Once again, holds on the advantage there of Nate Canner there over EJ Neat and Andy Shirley. Oh, contact up in front of the leaders as the 09 of Spurgeon gave everybody a chance to check up. That hands second place back over to the 44 of Shirley. Here comes Vickers in the 20 at the fourth place. Now, remember, Vickers has raced the eight here in both the stock class, the late model class, and now the Thundercar class. He's definitely one of the more experienced vet, uh, veterans here of racing. In fact, I believe Vickers even has about two or three of the three hours under his belt here over his career. Battle for the lead on the slickest track we've raced on in a long, long time as the 274 of Nate Canner is holding on spot ahead of the 44 of Andy Shirley. Whoa, as around goes B.J. McClellan in the number nine ride. And looks like the old Hosier clan. Whoa, where is Shirley going this time? Shirley, you jest, but he makes it over the humps and bumps. And that's gonna, lap's going to count. He's still good. Leader's going to be Nate Canner in the 274. Second place is still the 44 of Shirley. Third place is now Vickers in the 20 machine. Steve Vickers in the 20 machine. Pinch me, I'm dreaming here. Vickers now challenging Shirley for that second place. They're checked up behind the 27 McDougal. And it's Vickers to second place ahead of Shirley. Shirley comes right back with a tie dot back on the back bumper, the 274 of Nate Canner. Fourth place is going to be EJ Needs, number 28, chased by the number 30 of Aaron Smay. Guess what? We got some brand new dogs in this race. Vickers in the number 20 now, challenging the leaders. Kate Canner in the 274 trying to hang on to it. Here comes Shirley to challenge. Here comes Vickers to challenge. He's got traffic up in front with the five of Riddle and then the 49 of Dibbern. Both those guys already having their problem being slideways on the track. Whoa, it's going to be Vickers now losing the the handle on it. He almost throws it all away. Here comes Shirley trying to cut down low. Can't get there. Goes across the bow of the 28 of Neat. And it's still going to be Vickers hanging on for second. Nope. Here comes Shirley now for second place as Cannon's going to pull away. Contact now between Vickers and Shirley as they come to the stripe once again. And I don't know if that'll count or not for uh, just barely making the speed bumps by my reckoning. I'm not sure they're going to count for that one or not. We'll have to double check with his scores on that one. See if it's going to be Shirley's going to be uh, dock that lap, and I believe he has been docked the lap there for cutting inside the marker. So Andy Shirley cut too far inside that marker and did not get counted for that last lap. So he's now down a lap to the leader of Nate Canner. Second place then goes to the number 20 machine of Steve Vickers. Third place is going to be the number da, 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 28 of Neat, followed by the 30 of Smay, then the 128 of Neat, and the 36 of Harper. So again, Andy Shirley's 44 is one lap down after missing the markers and the speed bumps inside turn number Number one there about a lap before last so there you go keep that in mind there when it comes time for the scoring if you're following on the uh, race monitor app that he is down one lap so again to you folks following on low budget TV the 44 machine of Shirley is not on the lead lap around goes no one needs 128 though that's gonna cost him a position or two Second goes to the number 20 of Steve Vickers. Third place is the EJ Neat 28 machine. Fourth place, the 30th May. Fifth place is Dale Harper's number 36. has been coming on a little bit stronger every lap. 10 of the 30 laps completed. Make it 11 of the 30 laps completed. As the 274 of Canner. Shirley at this point is trying to get back on the lead lap. Again, I don't think he's even aware of that, that he has been docked that lap unless somebody's got him on cell phone. You might want to tell his... Uh, GPS unit. He's going to have to make up a lap or something there. Oh, it won't matter anyway. Here comes Vickers now. Challenging the inside. He's got McClellan as a pick. Uses him to brush back Shirley. And there you go. Steve Vickers in number 20. Takes back second place. Honest over Shirley, who cuts it again. Shirley now for the second time cuts way inside the marker. And that's going to cost him another lap. So sure, Andy Shirley in the 44 is now two laps down in the 44 machine. Vickers, though, has a flat right front tire and surrenders the second place to the EJ Needs number 28 ride. So we're back to Canners number 274, leading EJ Needs number 28. Holy cow! Andy Shirley swinging way wide. I think he went halfway to Mars Hill and cuts the marker for the third time to go three laps down now and has a flat left front tire. At this point, I don't know if he's going to try to lobby for his own red flag, but he's going to be three laps down. He pulls it to a stop. And I believe he is going to try and lobby for his own red flag. I don't know if it's going to help him to get it, though. He's so far down. Leader's going to be Nate Cannon, the 274. Come to the stripe with 14 laps into it. Followed by EJ Needs, number 28. Third place, the 30 of Smay. Fourth place, the 2 of Swinford. Way back, back, back. He could go all the way. And then you got Dale Harper's, number 36. EJ Needs, number 128. Those cars, last ones on the lead lap at this point. So Cantor, Nate Cantor, the 274, 
trying to lap a couple more back markers back there. Come around to halfway on this one. 15 of 30 laps completed for Nate Canner in the 274. Second place, the 28 of EJ Neat. Third place, there goes Aaron Smay across the stripe in the 30 machine. And it's tiptoe time for Canner now as it will cross the bow of the two machine of Swinford and getting her done. So again, if you're watching from home, heartbreak for Shirley there, who's not sure what that was showing there with the uh, LBTV monitor, but Shirley is down on the count and lights him up there. The whole, trying to break the whole left front off the tire now. The Gremlins once again plaguing Andy Shirley in that 44 machine. Just has had nothing but bad luck here at the speed drum. After some great flashes, it's all flashed in the pan. Field now basically stretched out all over the place. Trying to put a lap, the 274 of Cantor, trying to put a lap on the 36 of Harper. Tiptoe for more time for the crossover once again. As McClellan goes across the valley, your lead of the 274 of Cantor. Cantor trying to put a lap on the 36 of Harper. And if he does so, that puts us only five cars left on the lead lap in a 30 lap race. Stand by for a big announcement here at the end of this race. Big announcement at the end of this race. Big announcement at the end of this race, folks. Big announcement at the end of this race here coming up. Do not leave. We got big news coming. 274 of Cantor leading the way. It's 28 of EJ Neat, 30 of Aaron Smay, Jeff Swinford's number, Swinford's number two machine. And the last car on the lead lap, the 128 now of Noah Neat. Trying to stay one lap, or on the lead lap with the leaders. Coming around to 19 of 30 laps completed for the 274 of Cantor. I do believe that uh, Shirley's trying, maybe trying to blow that thing up to uh, in the heartbreak of this whole fiasco that this season has been for him. One of the fellows who's definitely been one of the bright lights has just had nothing but grief here this year. But speaking of bright lights, the one that's shining up in front, whoa, it's going to be your battle for the lead now, the 274 of Canner, right behind him, the 28 machine of EJ Neat. The fellas battling out for the Thundercar Championship here for the Shelbyville Auto Parts Thundercar Division here at the Speed Drum on the weekly basis are now battling to see who can happen. Must happen. Just a reminder, in the pit area, you must have your armbands on your arm when you come in tomorrow. That's a footnote there leading into big note. And here we go. Up to the front goes to be EJ Neat in the 28 passing. Getting the pass done. Here comes Cannon trying to make it happen, but he's got the 27 McDougal as a pick. Brushing him back. He dives underneath McDougal. 21 to 30 laps completed. And now Cannon playing catch up to the 28 of Neat. Neat, who looked like he's just going to fade away on this wet, wet track as everything just went south here at the speed drum here from the storm that came from the south. And it's going to be now neat, though, with the lead there. Canner trying to reel him in. Third place still goes to Aaron Smay. He's going to keep them both honest, but he's out of contact with the leaders. Fourth place is still going to be Jeff Swinford in one of the oldest cars on the racetrack. Although, actually, I'm starting to wonder, the B.J. McClellan number nine car may be a year or two older than what Swinford's got. Both those cars have got a couple years under their belt there. Uh, Swinford's car has probably got more racetracks under than anybody else here. Oh, there it is. The brakes gliding up. The brakes are all but shot on Swinford's number two machine. You can see he gets into the back end of McClellan. That's because he basically has no brakes left on the left front whatsoever. We can see him lighting up there and all but burning off. Lady to battle for the lead as the 274 of McCanter cannot get a wrap to the 28 machine of Need. I've been busy watching that left front tire getting ready to fall off on the two machine of Swinford. And that may be more than just a brake problem here, but he's able to hold on to so far fourth place. So at this point, I think they're going to let him go here. Let's see if we can make it to the end. Seven laps left to go for Swinford there in that run. But your battle for the lead is all but settled. Oh, where is it? Here we go once again. McDougal, a factor there as McClellan had to check up for McDougal come through the stripes. And it's going to be the 28 of Neat leading the 274 of Canner with May a full straightaway behind that one. Five laps left to go this time by across the stripe. McDougal, check up. McDougal gets the brakes to work that time. Wasn't sure he was going to make it happen there or not. And then Swinford continued to tiptoe through the crossover. Allows the 09 machine of Spurgeon to get through, as well as the 30 of Smay. And the 274 of Canner continue trying to reel in the 28 of EJ Neat, but just cannot get her done. Again, watching the sparks coming off that left front of the 22 machine of Swinford. And I think he may have finally just flat out run out of brakes, and he has no brakes left on that front end. Yep, I do believe that's part of the problem now. He's got no pivot, no 
That may be it. He has no brakes left now on the two machine of Swinford. So keep that in mind. That may come into play here. The orange two machine of Swinford right in front of your leader may be out of, completely out of brakes now and just running off a of throttle and compression. Oh, he got a little spark there. It might be something happening. I don't know what he's got left to make that thing stop, but you'll not, still have no problem maintaining on the lead lap here. Three laps left to go, but now Neat gets underneath him. Swiftford cuts down. That checks up Neat a little bit in the 28. Allows Canner another breather, another shot at it, but Canner can't quite pedal hard enough to get up there. His just little legs just won't carry him that fast, I guess. As he's trying to make it happen through the north end, goes your leaders once again. Down, headed southbound. It's the 28 machine of Neat getting around the Swiftford 2 machine. Remember, Swiftford has no brakes. He's got McDonald's. Dougal up in front, and they met before. They're not going to meet again. Swinford hangs way back. Well, it's compression just at this point. He's just trying to hang on to survive this one. He's going to lose a spot, though. Here comes Dale Harper in the 36 for position behind Swinford now, as Harper in the 36 is actually running fifth place to lap down, uh, but for position against the two of Swinford. 274 of Canner and the 28 of Neat there. Leading off with this one. White flag comes out. White flag comes out. White flag comes out. One last lap, one last chance for the 274 of Canner. Does he go all out? Does he put it to the wall, or does he make it happen? Also, that battle for position there for fourth and fifth battle place battle between the two of Swinford, 36 of Harper. Harper getting underneath Swinford there with a shot at it. One last time across the stripe. There's no one, or E.J. Neat picking up the win. Second place going to Canner. It's going to be Harper just ahead of Swinford. Remember, that's always for fourth place. Third place is going to be Aaron Smay in the 30, and the only other car on the lead lap. So Smay in the 30, last car on the lead lap, holds on for third place. Fourth place is going to go to Dale Harper in that 36. Fifth place to the two of Swinford. Sixth place goes to the 128 of Noah Neat. Seventh place to Dibber, Justin Dibber in the 49. Eighth place to the nine of B.J. McClellan. Ninth place to Henry McDougal's number 27, and 10th unofficially Tim Spurgeon's 09 machine. And here's the big announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the big announcement to make. As soon as we get quiet, listen up, everybody. Listen up, everybody. What is now drizzling is going to continue to drizzle. I'll wait for it to be a little bit quieter, a little bit quieter, a little bit quieter. As soon as we get, uh, I've never seen anybody celebrate ninth place the way Henry McDougal just celebrated ninth place. In the history of the speed drum, I don't think anybody has ever celebrated a ninth place finish the way Henry McDougal just did. But that's Henry. Listen up, folks, because here's the news, and it's not great. We are done for the night. The weather is coming in. It's going to sock us in. Here's the schedule for tomorrow. Pit gates open at noon. Spectator, gate, spectator gates open at 1. We'll be practicing from 1 to 5, qualifying from 5 to 7, and racing at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Keep your tickets, keep your pit band. Keep your tickets, keep your pit bands. They will be honored tomorrow. On behalf of the entire management of the Naples Speed Drum, I want you to realize we have worked so hard to get this in all weekend long. Uh, Kevin Garrigus and company have spent several thousand extra dollars on track dryers and uh, extra time. Mother Nature just not cooperating. That's one of the prices you pay in this business. It's uh, raining on you just as it's rained on our parade. On behalf of everybody with the speed room, again, I'm sorry for this one, but we will have to run this one tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Again, the schedule is pit gates open at noon, spectator gates, spectator gates at 1, practice from 1 to 5, lots of practice time, qualifications from 5 to 7, and the race at 8 for the World Championship 3-hour figure 8 endurance race. For the first time ever, we've had to forego this one here and run it on the Monday after. That's never occurred here in the history of the race, but then that's why you have history books to keep track of that stuff. Again, I do apologize for the delays, but we do have Scott Keen. Hey, after Scott, you realize you got 10th place in the figure eight? All right, right on. Tricky track. We're down here with EJ Neat, and it was a survival and hold on and hope that uh, you don't spin out. And uh, once again, you just, was this, what is this, five, six? Uh, it's five in a row. Um, first off, I, I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Kevin Garrigus, Jacob Garrigus, and the, and the whole track crew. Um, these guys have worked their butts off. He's put, they put everything they can to get this track to where it needed to be. And Mother Nature just ain't, she ain't, she ain't putting up with it this weekend. Um, but the, the track was good, but it, it started to get worse. And that race right there, it, it was just mainly trying to stay smooth and keep the tires underneath you. And I got lucky. I mean, I, I keep saying that, but it, the, the race, I mean, I, I think I fell back to like fourth or fifth there. And uh, 
it just kind of came back to me. And luckily, some lap traffic got hell neat and got him back to me. If not, I mean, he was a goner. Well, go home, get some rest, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow afternoon out here. Yep, thank you. All right, back to you folks. Don't, once again, don't forget to save your ticket stubs. Save your ticket stubs. And drivers and crews, save your pit bands. Save, save, save them. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon for the big one. So again, a big shout out to our fans here at the stands and our fans worldwide following on a low budget TV. Again, we tried everything we could to get this one in. Mother Nature just not cooperating with that misty stuff we had all day long that would not leave. It looks like it's going to sock us in for the rest of the night here once one more time. They're saying 100% no problem, everything clearing up. This stuff finally passes for good. I uh, do apologize myself, folks. I've been through these battles many times on your side of the fence and mine. Um, in the pits, I've been through the rainouts, etc. It is no fun. I realize that, and I wish we could have done this differently. But on behalf of everybody here at the Speedrome, I thank you all for putting up with us, you people in the pit area as well. We truly do appreciate you as well, all your patience with us through this delay. But just no way we're going to be able to get this one in, see it coming back in. But again, tomorrow, 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 pit gates open at noon, spectator gates at 1. Practice 1 to 5, say so bring your ticket stubs, bring your tickets, bring your pit bands, etc., Qualifications 5 to 7, race at 8 p.m. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night.